hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to create interface for your text classification model and you know show it to the users so let's get started uh, before we move forward i would like to shout out for gradio a framework developed by hugging face so that you can create beautiful interface like this next uh, i'm using this roberta base go emotion uh, model which is developed by this uh, person called sam lowy and it is uh, trained on reddit data uh, go emotion which has 28 labels and uh, there are files that you need to download before you use this uh, uh, this model so for that what you need to do is that copy this url and uh, go to your terminal and then you need to use git clone and then provide the url so it will download the folder into your directory so this is the things that i already have downloaded now uh, before we uh, move and develop this interface let's learn how this application works so i'll first import torch and again uh, i have done three things first created my virtual environment uh, activated that and installed all the dependencies from this requirements.txt file so i'll import torch uh, then i'll make sure that i use CUDA in case it is available in my case it is available and I'm importing auto tokenizer and auto model for sequence classification from transformers now since I have this already downloaded I'll provide the path of the folder where I have these files uh, these files downloaded and I'll create my tokenizer and model and then I'll move the model to uh, my CUDA device next I have this query I'm not having a great day so the first step is to uh, get the tokens of this sentence so I'll use tokenizer provide my query I'll say return uh, as PyTorch and truncation true and then I move uh, those inputs to device and let's see the inputs. Oh, query. Yeah. You can see these are input IDs and attention mask. Now I'll provide this input to the model uh, using arguments. And uh, when I run this, You will see we have this kind of output so we can get the log it's and then we'll perform some action but before that uh, we will map we will need to map the score to the 28 classes and for that what you can do is that uh, under the folder the downloaded folder you will have this config JSON and which will have this label to ID so what I am doing is that model.config you access this and dot label to id you access this property. So yeah this is the dictionary and yeah so I guess this doesn't needs to be there. Now outputs has log it. So I'll use sigmoid to you know get the probabilities and then i'll detach them from the cpu and get the numpy version of the probabilities so let me run that let's see the probabilities so these are the probabilities of 28 classes so now what i'll do is that i'll map uh, these probabilities to this uh, classes so let me run that yeah now you can see that uh, we have uh, for example this admiration is 0 0.0027 and you can see it is 0 0.0027 
now what i'll do is that i'll sort uh, this dictionary based on the value so that you know we will see uh, this kind of interface that we have seen here uh, i'm not sure i have shown it or not so i'll copy this sentence as well uh, i'll provide it here and then i'll hit submit and you can see we are just showing at this point top five so in order to see this we will uh, sort uh, the dictionary uh, descending order on values so let me run that as well so now uh, we have our full thing working uh, now what i'll do that i'll convert this uh, piece of codes into a function so under utils.py i have done the same thing i have created the model then i'm taking this uh, label to ids and then creating input uh, moving that input to device getting output getting the logits uh, creating sigmoid function uh, getting the probabilities yeah. and then uh, detaching them uh, and getting the numpy version looping over so that i can map the probabilities to label and then sorting the label in descending order on values and i'm printing this just to make sure it works now uh, let's move to see the gradio ui part which is just like you know five lines of code i'm importing the get prediction function from this utils uh, creating interface which will take function inputs and outputs uh, this allow flagging to never just to get rid of the flag button now this input is my text box and output is label which will take a uh, value as a dictionary which will have class and corresponding uh, pro uh, probability for that class and i'm using num top classes to 5 just to show only top 5 classes so this is my text box when i create interface uh, that will come default by this clear and submit button and this is my label so the dictionary we are returning this dictionary we are returning is shown as this beautiful labels so and finally i have this run.py which is a simple fast api application which has this home route which says that gradio application is running at slash gradio and second uh, route is created by this gradio mount uh, gradio f function which will take a fast api application our interface and the path on which you want to run so the final thing i would like to show you is that you can run the application using uvcon and then the file name that you want to run in my case it is run.py without the py extension and then colon app and then hyphen hyphen reload in uh, uh, so that you know in case i make a change it will reload the application when i hit enter it will start the application and when it starts the application you can see uh, this kind of uh, beautiful interface when i paste the input and hit submit that input will go to this get prediction and whatever return is set as this output and we will see this kind of uh, labels so i guess uh, this is it uh, from my part of the video i hope you are now able to understand how to create this a uh, beautiful interface for text classification and uh, what you can do is that you can replace your get prediction function with your own model and then you know show it to the users and in case you want to learn how to deploy this application on server then i have a video on my youtube channel where you will learn how to deploy a gradio application on render render is a platform uh, kind of a heroku uh, type of a platform where you can connect your github and deploy the application so i guess this is it 
from my side of the video and in case you want to get the code i have used uh, you can go to my github repository and search for this gradio uh, text classification and in case you use the code please uh, please uh, try to give it a star uh, that helps and i guess so finally uh, thank you for watching so finally in case you like the work i'm developing on my youtube channel please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace